And here we go. This is Flash Somebody at In a Perfect World solo this time. We're uh, we're having technical difficulties. See, I just did it. We're having electronical difficulties. Anyway, this is reallibertymedia.com. And that's the... Uh, we're in the chat room, but there's the radio programs and everything is all at RLM. Uh, Grimm's the guy that puts us out to Spreaker and puts us on BitChute. Well, us. It's me again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'll try to find a, a partner to help me out with this. And if not, we'll see what we can do just because I wasn't planning on two solos, but here we go. Hmm. Anyway, say hi to the bots and the bodies and the real liberty media dot com chat do this is the uh kind of like a tradition we all i learned it from mary and i think mary learned it from grim so we're trying to pass on the you know the good manners side of this chaos we call uh the electronic world so we're gonna say hey barman grimner moose girl miss kate Brackets, DC, and Ty, Asmo, Circle. Hey, honey. She's not on, though. She's over there on the couch. Well, wait a minute. Oh, uh, she's escaping me now. And uh, we have Echelon, me, I, B, Don, C, Meister Brow, hey, Woody, uh, Rain, RLM, Fluke, Rob Works, Bubbler, uh, Romes, <laughs> says Vinny here, but I don't know. I haven't seen Vinny much in the last few minutes. Uh, Beetle, Cyborg, Noodle, Dakota, Frumped, Frumpy, Gromit, Java Doctor, Java Doctor 2, nine, J's, 9's, J's, had a, boy, had a blank spot. Kozu, mm -hmm. Nensen, Dubois, Ponsas, Sock Puppet, Skittle, Tech Man, hmm, Uno and why not? And that's uh, the bots and the bodies and the real liberty media dot com chat. If you want to go see what they're doing, and a lot of the stuff is well, I like it. Not all of it, because we you know we differ in taste. I suppose we have Republican and we have Democrat. Say, I mean that's the uh, political split that they represent far as I can tell, looking on as a non-participant of that particular, <laughs> I'd call it a religion, but some people think it's real. Yeah, well, anyway, tonight I wanted to do a show and call it Don't Get Caught, because... Wow, that's it's pretty. Hey, Vinny, that's pretty much what um what we got going on in the world now, and at it's part of life, you know. When when you, you participate in society, there's guidelines, and if you don't abide by the guidelines, then they'll send a thug out to say, "Hey, you want to abide by the guidelines?" and uh. <sighs> Hmm. I don't know what to do with this, because I don't want to be complained at about what's going on. So, uh, can replace me tonight, and you could do one. That would be good for me. Or good with me. Because uh, today and yesterday were just terrible. The results of mob rule and... You know, people misunderstanding that there's just guidelines that everybody willingly participates with for the better of everybody else. And uh, I guess we would make exception for somebody that was, say, hmm, mentally fucking retarded. Or hmm, maybe they had Tourette's and they couldn't control what they said to people. So... That's not how things really go, because we're in a perfect world here on Tuesday, 
12th of February, 2019. And, wow, I thought last year was kind of strange. Um, uh, uh, I'm getting kind of lost in all this because I don't want to be on the receiving end of the headphones of the, what I've been reading for two days. So I'm not really up to participating. But I'll give you the time, and you can do it yourself if you want to. Get whatever you have off your mind. I just don't want to be receiving it. And uh, that's where I stand on the... Wow, what a mess this is turning into so early in the show. <laughs> Perfect world, my butt. It, it all comes down to... Oh, uh, no. <laughs> See, there you go. I don't know, man. You've been raging for two days, and now you want to talk to me? No... I didn't want to get involved in this crap in the first place, you know. I didn't want to bring it up tonight. I don't want, I'm going to avoid it. But don't get caught. And the way you don't get caught is you use your free speech license. And you go to the state and you go, hey, state, I want a free speech license. Can I buy one? And I, I think they sell them. Oh, jeez. Grimner. Ah, sure. All right. Let's do this and get it the fuck over. But I'm telling you, if you're going to start, you know, getting on me about all this stuff, I don't want to do it. So I'm just saying ahead of time so people aren't, you know, surprised. I'm going to call Vinny right now. Um, give me one second. See, I'm wired up, so I was already prepared. I just hadn't. Uh-oh. Did I not change? I didn't change something here. Hold on. Yeah. There we go. Hey. <clears throat> this is Flash and... <sighs> Say hi, Vinny. Here I come. Hey, there he is. Wait. I think I'm plugged in. Okay. Has that got me? Yeah, I hear you just fine. I would assume. Oh, good. The... Hi, Flash. Hey, what's up, Vinny? Well, as you know, I'm uh, many words to describe it. Tumultuous. Uh, um, it's so many words that I, I guess I'm about speechless. But, uh, <laughs> don't come on the radio <laughs> speechless. Yeah. Crazy. I man. really, I really don't think that this, uh, this whole situation. The banning is uh, is it all conducive to real liberty media, and uh, and I think I can show the faults in uh, in this decision. And then what? The decision was made. You're not playing with yeah. some. You're not yeah. playing with yeah. some rinky dink, you know, I, guy that bends every time you tell him to move. The yeah, I don't. I rules. don't take ultimatums, so I don't give any. That's why I never offered an ultimatum. Nobody gave I, you one. It was either. Um, Wait. Uh, How's Java story? doctor or maybe frumpy that said that I kind of did uh, offer an uh, ultimatum about what uh, about this you know I demanded any change but uh, I think uh, I think it's only fair that uh, that it be addressed and, and uh, it be me that that do it because I've taken it upon myself I'm consistent um, Chloe and I are worlds apart politically mm. and um, uh, I I think that when people um, choose to have discourse, uh, whether it be ad hominem, if you want to see ad hominem, if you want to see what I deal with, go, go to my Twitter. And so uh, I, I feel like uh, it's an opportunity to, to learn and to avoid the pitfalls. Um, but So are you when, open to questions about this or are you just going to just make your one side and that's the end of it or what? No, I'll I'll come into the questions. Hmm. Um, and I'd have a few. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bash on anybody. I just want, got a few questions to make a point to go along with what you're saying. Mm -hmm. All right, because I both agree <laughs> and on another level I disagree. This is beyond. This is what somebody has to suffer when they willingly are are participating in a group that has asked them to not act a certain behavior and that person said okay well and then after a little time goes by the person says ah fuck it i'll do what i want 
well, they've been told, hey, you can't do that. You agreed not to, and here you are doing it. This is the rewards of your work. That's what I see going on, Vinny. Okay. Now, well, glad. I don't know if you that tell me if, what you uh, see. she was given or uh, told that. I could go ask her now that I'm able to go over here into this. I thought it was Politics 101, but it's 360. So uh, I have opportunity to talk to her and uh, ask those questions if they need to be asked. But uh, I, I really don't think that that is even necessary. The point is, uh, my question is, is it okay for people to talk to each other, ad hominem or logical fallacy, to cuss and call each other cunts and queers and niggers and whatever else? All right, am I going through? I, I'm just checking that you're that you're on here. We've had problems trying to connect you. Okay. Okay. He says, yeah, you're louder than me. Okay. Uh, I might have my volume down a tad. Let me pump it up a little bit. I'll be quiet again. I just want to make sure I can participate, Vinny. Okay. We well, uh, let me ask this question then. Is it okay for people to uh, uh, argue, to uh, call each other names, and uh, I disagree. And uh, at what point is it not okay for the one person and it's still okay for the others? Well, you're asking me my how I see this, though, right? Well, I mean, we, you and I can have this conversation and people can respond in chat. Uh, I really uh, I haven't sit down. I, I spent a lot of time last night. Uh, going through this, well, for a few days, I guess now. Um, and and I, I can only see that uh, I'm not wrong. Okay. And well, I ask that, right, uh, me, that I be let me uh, make a, a given given a, a hearing. Let me interject. A, a determination, but it requires truthfulness. All right. And it requires me, answers. Let me make a point to you be, before I forget mm -hmm. this is all. Okay. Back, I don't know, during the summertime, maybe even before the summertime, Beth Z does not like me in circle, not even a little bit. So my solution to Beth was to just ignore her and not mm. read what she wrote because it was always rude and antagonizing. Yet there was somebody else that was so mean that Beth left. Can you imagine how heartless and cruel you'd have to be to get rid of Beth? Well, she left because of you and because of Chloe, right? Right, because of me. Why? What did I do? Block her? Because of things you say. <laughs> say what? Well, you can say whatever you want to. Okay, so, and? What's the point of all this, Vinny? This decision was made by uh, the authority at the time. Authority, Based, I yeah, love that word. It's the way it really is. you got fucking yeah, reality here. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're well, if it. if we if we uh, suppose one idea and then squash it mm -hmm. with action, so we are what we <laughs> what we do. We are not what we say we do. <laughs> you get what you give. What the fuck, Vinny? I don't see it that way. If I get banned, well, I I just want to ask: get... Why is it fair to ban Chloe and uh, nobody else is banned when the decision is made out of consensus of a few people? Uh, don't like Chloe and what she, her ideas are, yeah. and you guys uh, have pitched back and forth. Uh, and oh, it so is what you, it wait is. Wait a minute. Are you saying that I have something to do with this ban? Well, I have are you in compliant? Do I don't give a flying fuck if the bitch is there or not. She was rude to me. <laughs> she would sit. So you, she would sit in conversation with the two of us, put me down. Fluff you up like you're something special. You never said a word. You didn't even you didn't even care. So it's just tough shit on her. That's the way she treats people. That's what you get when Does you're. Does she have an the idiot. right to do that? Apparently, in your opinion, she did. Do you, I didn't do pay you have, attention. Do you to have her. the right to talk shit to Hans like you do? He's a piece of shit to peek in with. What do you fucking expect? Does that make any excuse then? You have that right to do so. He's here voluntarily. You are here voluntarily. If either one of you wish to, uh, and which you have uh, exercised in the past, you hit the ignore button. Did that not suffice? We're not dealing with me, Vinny. We're dealing with I'm you. I'm talking about I'm bringing so, charges 
Uh, charges? Uh, what to yeah. what? This yeah, I'm bringing shit. charges against the whole of RLM as a as individuals and as a group. Okay, and what's your goal, Vincent? What are you trying to accomplish? To, to show that this is not fair. So what? Who cares? What, you, who told well, you life was and, fair? What are you, live in la-la land? Are we Jeez. not supposed to be in representation of that here at Real Liberty Media? Is that we, not our whole premise? We. Is wow. the idea, is it not the idea, and I'll use this word collectively of anarchy, hmm. the idea that uh, we, we don't, uh, we're not ruled. I don't feel ruled, Vincent, so I don't get it. There are rules uh, over here that uh, apply to some and not to others. If oh, you've really? not been banned, if I've not been banned, if Rob's not been banned, then uh, then Chloe is banned. Uh, Kate is not qualified to sit in judgment because she was involved with this. So that therefore she needs should have excluded herself from that. And if you do not have the capacity to sit as administrator without uh, having to use your own feelings into this. If you're in the fight, then you cannot be the judge or else we have the very system that we encounter in the justice, uh, the just us of the justice system where the, the, the judge is the prosecutor. And this is a whole uh, uh, poke at, at this in my mock trial here, this uh, high crimes of hearsay. Yeah, I made that word up. It's, oh, it's okay. not an so wait a minute. So you're telling me live on the radio that woman was never rude to me. I I was always the instigator of every disagreement. No, with her? no, sir. Oh, okay. Because I I would venture to guess you'd be lying at that point. No, uh, okay. I'm only meaning to present the facts and okay, to well, uh, dispel them. Fact. And if anybody okay. can show me that I am wrong that I'm not standing for what is right, whether it be Chloe, whether it be for you, for uh, Hans or Goober. Goober's next to be banned because people don't like his words. He gets drunk and comes on here and rants. You see, he bashes me. Do you see uh, me offended? When my, when, when it was take, the ability was taken away from me to interact with Chloe, then that is, that is theft. And that was a decision made for me that, uh, I, there was no right to be made for the RLM uh, chat channel here. Uh, Real Liberty Media is the house. This is Grimner's house. But this is like the front yard, the forum, the uh, arena where people come to speak. And if anybody is arbitrarily uh, silenced, then, then that is a, a death blow to, uh, to freedom of speech. When people are offended because of what somebody says, and they're no different than the liberal snowflakes or the uh, the right wing that that would uh, build the gallows, but the the gallows are built. You know the the hangman. They say uh, nobody nobody said nothing. Well, the fact of the true story of the hangman is is everybody cheered. Yeah, as the wall was built and they screamed, build it bigger. Then they built the gallows and they said, hang the queers and hang the niggers. Yeah, that, that's what I see. Do you see the chat? Can you, yeah. read, can you read what Frumpt wrote to you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it says that Grimner asked her to ask nights a month ago. Yeah. Well, there you go. And if this is a matter of information, that well, did it, as it, a community, did anybody was anybody else asked to ni act nicely? It's only what one person can cannot respond. You got to figure too that the mentality that that one would come up against when they feel like they're being ganged up on. So she sat there uh, alone. Uh, you didn't see me coming over saying, "Oh, don't be mean to her," or uh, telling her, "Oh, don't be mean to you guys." Right? Is it is it wait, not wait free speech? What, what does that have to do with you? I mean, she me? She, yeah, I because, was in a conversation because I I have to stand in accordance with Real Liberty Media. Okay, well, and if go ahead. Look, I mean, there's I was in a conversation about nine eleven with her. This woman didn't have a clue, clueless, and the other males in the room were in agreement with the stand that I believe in. And she says, oh, you guys are just ganging up against me because I'm a woman. 
she was an instigator, a problem, not didn't bring anything. So I have no concern for your cause, Vinny. That was a logical shit, fallacy. I'm not defending shit uh, on the floor her cause this is what or happened. your cause. I'm defending the cause that everybody has the right to speak and to be banned because a few people didn't like what she had to say or how yeah. she had to say it. Live the illusion, Vinny. See the it's... hypocrisy here? Okay. Take it to whatever level of reality you like. I'm not I doing have that. no play in this because the woman was never kind to me. She was always rude and insulting. She gets rude along to fine you. with Zerk. Treated me like a piece of shit because I wouldn't bend to her side of this illusion of government. It's sad. So, so what difference does that make to you? Does that affect you? No. Does that really. have any control of it? None, it does it? If you don't want to hear it, what could you have done? Her. Hit the ignore button. Yes, sir? We're not talking about me, Vinny. This has got nothing We're to do We're talking about me. each and every one of us. I don't care. Ban me. Don't. Bo it doesn't bother me. What Why would you be banned? I, care? I, I got banned off of freaking, um, what was that? Uh, what's that big site? That Facebook shit. <laughs> yeah. They put me in a 30-day that, that shows injustice, spinge. doesn't it? I left, Vinny. I don't care. It doesn't matter. To me. You're making a big sh fucking deal out of something I don't give two shits about. I don't care if it was me that gets banned. It I, matter to I me. give a lot of shits about it. Well, okay. Uh, so Real, what? Real Liberty Media ha has been an integral part of my life. And, uh, and if I can't come here to say that I feel betrayed by these actions, then uh, I have no, no vested interest in this. I, I've spent a lot of my time and effort. Uh, here's a, and I, I I'm gonna go ahead and call him out, Jeff, who who uh, and others have come to me. And my posting about stepping down uh, on my Twitter, that uh, is the Real Liberty Media, Vinny. Uh, Jeff said he, I, because I, I gave him the the uh, the pre explanation here from Grim show last night and so i shared that with him he says uh uh he got it he said too bad he just donated a few uh days back from your link oh well so i i continue then the charges of uh theft of services then because uh, now he's not getting oh well well by my choice yeah but i cannot be included in something that is not just and right i, I don't stand for the idea that, that Chloe presents, you present, or anybody else presents, but I stand for their right to present it. And when we hear, especially, it's not like she's some troll just coming in here, uh, spamming, oh, really? or, or that sort of thing. That's she's been opinion. a long time whoa, chatter Whoa, 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 whoa. That, see, that's your opinion. Don't speak for me here is just what I want to clear. Because that woman never got any respect from me. She got it from Circle. So it just goes to show that the shit she did, she willingly did it. That's her right. Then, well, then fuck her. Okay, that's the point. You have that Get right too to say that. Okay. You have the right to block her, don't you? I'm but not the one in on the problem here. This is level. your problem. Why are you bringing this to me like it? I have anything to fucking do with it. Because I, I can only anything. give example between me and you as we speak right now, right? And I'm telling You're you for from examples. A and at a personal level, if Grimm decided to ban me for whatever, I would just go. I wouldn't be affected at the level that you're taking this. It's well, not I'm not the one that was banned. You're going to have a stroke. There's millions of freaking sites out there, Vinny. Yeah, What's and so that's why I have to step down from Real Liberty Media, because it is not being representative of uh, of your of high standards of no of what, what? of what real liberty media what we all uh, have said in here and doing, have you're uh, doing the same thing uh, undeclared uh, you're doing the opposite what? you're just doing the same thing just the opposite of it if you don't do what no. I want I'll leave well then go That's no I'm already I already it. am because of this uh, very incident okay so and what but I still have the right to make my case do I not. You've made your case. Nobody stopped you from making it. You've been making it for two days. We're not yeah. idiots. We know what you fucking <clears throat> said. Okay, How what have hard I said? Because maybe we, I don't know what I'm saying. You think you've got a room full of Hansels and you're trying to get them to vote Democrat here? We know <laughs> what that you're fucking saying, The vote saying, was Vinny. a whole 
that w- that was rhetorical. There still comes a time that doesn't mean anything. where you have to pay the price for what you are asked not to do <clears throat> if you choose to do it. How come there nobody are, else has paid the price? Because nobody pushed it to the point of Grimm asking them, will you stop it? Are you not thinking this why, through? Vincent? Why is only one person asked to stop? Why is you not asked to stop or Rob asked to stop or uh, I didn't ask Rob to stop calling me a, a loud mouth or uh, any insults from sock pu- puppet that I get. Uh, and I only uh, put them on ignore yesterday just to point of demonstration. They're off ignore because I have the ability to ignore with uh, by seeing what they say, whether it makes uh, logical sense. Go look yeah. at the crap. I've post against me on on twitter it's it's hilarious it's hilarious no ad hominem so what that's what i'm trying to tell you and you're making a big deal out of a 40 site uh, 40 you know 40 solid wood names on here it's not the end of the world this is not going to shift the balance of reality in my life at all not one i own i don't care i'm i'm getting logical fallacies uh ad hominem against me and what? You see me From, crying? Oh, crying. Look, that's you, man. Maybe uh, they ain't struck you in the eye yet, like I do, when you tell me, oh, and then you insult, you interrupt me. and I, Well, that's what I do on radio. It's a joke to me, but you guys take this shit way too serious. Way too serious. It's going to give you a stroke. You need to breathe. I, I don't, I don't have to, to be right. Do bad. doesn't matter. You're working yourself up, Vinny, not me. Yeah, it, it affects me uh, to don't a very high it. level. Flash. I can tell. Right. Breathe. Calm down a little bit, man. I understand both sides of this coin. There you go. I, I don't have to pick one. Okay, I just standing here watching this parade go by me, Vincent. All of it. Don't let it stress you. That's how you lose. Getting all worked oh, up and angry. Yeah, I've already lost. If that's the way you look at it, it's up to yeah. you. I I lose Real Liberty Media. Something mm-hmm. that I spent a lot of my uh, self into. Well, no, you're Be- walking because away. because I have no. to do that. You're I have to away stand from for right. I, I cannot stand with uh, okay. not being, you know. Well, far as I could tell, you're still here, so you ain't gone anywhere yet. All right, we'll see. I I have plenty of thick skin, sock puppet. You can't insult oh, me. Oh, man. You try. You try. <sighs> Just go ahead and say it. You don't have to be ashamed of it. People, man. See, with Own it. In a perfect world. You know, I started out with the... Uh, the thought of those three words that everybody wants to hear, don't get caught. Mm-hmm. Well, I look at it in terms of she got caught. You know, that's the shitty side of the uh, the outlaw life. Because if you want to choosing the play in a game that's got rules but be above the rules... You better bring some really good weed to that fucking party or you're going to get slapped and tossed out. People do not tolerate that shit. Why do you take such offense to somebody getting their own ass handed to them after they put it out there that way? What did you expect her to get? It wasn't fair, was it? If if it applies across the board, then it should go across the board. Should it not? If I talk to everybody on the RLMA except for two or three people tops, I the guess. way she talked to everybody else, I would be exactly where I'm right at at the moment. I don't have no fucking loss for her. It's wrong. I have limits, Vinny. I mean, I did it to you. You crossed the line with me on a personal level, and when I ain't talking to you no more. What for? You know, change your mind. You're gonna be different, or are you gonna be all of a sudden see the error of your ways? No, you're gonna see me losing my temper over something and getting over it. This woman went beyond that part with a lot of people. It's got nothing to do with you. Has and nobody to do went with beyond me. that point with her. Apparently not, because she kept coming I, back to abuse other people. And I then she was abused way. in turn. Fuck. 
that's what you get. Well, I'm not you... saying that's right or wrong. Well, I'm then... saying it is what it is. Okay. And then, what, yeah. What do you say? To arbitrarily say you guys are okay to talk shit and another person cannot talk shit. Mm. <clears throat> is that not right? I don't think. Tell me I'm wrong. I don't wrong. think it works out that way. I think she was asked not to, which tilts the scale. If you're asked not to shit on somebody's living room floor and they invite you over for dinner and you shit on the living room floor, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to thank you for shitting on the floor? Well, no, this it was is the in electronic. Los at a public forum. It'd Vincent, be called this, modern this, art. You know what? You would not associate with half these people in verbally, in person, the same way you do in type. And you know it. Well, some I of think these are. I think that's very uh, appropriate for some uh, of these, everybody else as well. Some of these armchair quarterbacks. But the thing that. is, I say the same thing in fa to face as I would on air. That's the difference between me. I am consistent. Yeah. And I, I think you know that about I'm me. I'm not calling you names, Vinny. I'm just not with you on this one. I understand your side, but I don't give a shit. The woman didn't bring anything to the party to bring me to support her. What for? She's the very thing. Her. She's the very thing that she was calling me. And now it's her turn to pay the price for being so rude. And I'm like, oh, okay. She should have thought charged. of that. No. No, Vinny. There's lines I'm that you don't cross. Well. No. I disagree with you. She pissed somebody off over a long period of time. Many, many, many days, okay? I saw it with my own four eyes. I'm not backing something up. I'm just saying I know what this is about to a degree that I don't want to know. And that right there. I think, did I did he hang up on me? Oh, no. no. I thought you said I'm hanging up. I'm stoned. I think I'm going to do a 420 while you rant. I'm doing it, too, right with you. Because... Uh, let's do what the Indians did and right or wrong. I don't really care of any this, this, the whole, my whole fucking point, man. I don't like joining sides. I don't give a shit if you're right or wrong. That's your problem. If you got yourself into something that serious with people and it doesn't even include me, I'm staying the fuck out of it. I'm just going to make it worse. And that's the ground I'm trying to hold. Your ground you're trying to hold is to point out that nobody is so bad they need to be removed. That's your opinion. Other opinions are different. There, there might, there might be an instance, and I, I said that earlier. Uh, somebody comes in here as a troll or a spam. Oh, and uh, sure. so who decides? Kate did, Kate uh, did great, a great job keeping up with kicking those uh, when we were under attack by bots. Yeah. <clears throat> but. Yeah. If you have somebody that is, uh, let's say, uh, and the quotes up here, a resident chatter, um, when people have a uh, difference of opinion and they use wrong words, uh, I've used uh, a lot of wrong words these last few days, and I'm only speaking in the language that uh, is reflective here. So right. I have that right, so don't I? Let me ask you a question. Okay. okay. Let's say that I'm your next door neighbor right i live right next door to you i can walk over to your front door and knock on your door every morning at 5 30 right you with me so far i, I think so my, my neighbor comes over and knocks on my door every day at 5 30 no i do it but you don't want me yeah. to but every fucking day I come and knock on the fucking door. And every day you say, hey, don't do that. And every day I do it. How long is this little encounter going to last before you stop me from knocking on your door at 530 in the morning? Okay, you've, you've moved the bar, but let me see if I can straighten this out for myself. Mm. Um, Just giving you a maybe, different maybe, approach to look at the mess. That's yeah, all. but where where is this the same thing? How is Chloe knocking on your door? Annoying. Not my door. I don't give a flying fuck if she's here or not. See, you keep putting me in this. Stop that. Well, you you said that to me. I don't care so if she's here. You or were not. knocking on my door at five thirty. Yeah, yeah. Let's and do I don't it me want and you. you to. So yeah. I'm just trying to how would, what figure would you, out how to relate this. Would, would you live with that every day for the rest of your <laughs> life and just deal? What? What would you do? 
I don't see how that applies in this well, situation. Well, it may not apply to you, but I, I'm sure curious if you'd just endure that every day, no matter what, and it'd just go on and on and on, and you just well, let it, it happen. It, would, it wouldn't go on and on. I, I, I can tell you that. Why not? Because I would stop it. Well, how would, would stop you, it. Okay, and how would you stop it? Well, that would be a litigating uh, event uh, of, of circumstances, wouldn't it? Would it? Would Hypo you? It's hypothetical. I'm right, talking non-hypothetical. The very first day is you would look me right in the freaking face <laughs> and say, are you out of your mind? Don't do this to me. Well, not, you I, might I eventually train me and I'd get up and invite you in and have coffee ready. Okay, that's you. I got to admit you got me on that <laughs> one. Um. Yeah, because this isn't about Flash, me, I want to tell you something. Yeah. What? You're my friend, man, and that means a lot to me. Well, I appreciate that. I don't know if people realize uh, how hurt this has been. Oh, I right? know. I know what it's – I understand your side. I'm just not siding with you on it. I'm, that's it. I'm staying out of it. I'm just voicing an opinion, mm -hmm. and an opinion is not necessarily based on fact or knowledge. It's just an opinion. So I might be wrong, but it's what I think. Well, I, I obviously don't think I'm wrong or I would not persist as I am. Would you agree to that? True. And you're, but I know this. This this is worn on a lot of people for a long yeah. time. So sides were chosen way before you came into this. Thank you. Thank that, you, Jim. That's obvious to me as, as just being alive. We do these things. Whether we're <clears throat> willing to admit it or acknowledge it, but that woman got on everybody's nerves at some level that to some of us is so what see ya because yeah that's that's my that's what i contend it doesn't matter no matter if she got on everybody's nerves she got on her own nerves okay but and did she get on everybody's can, nerves can i bring a comparison that you might find strange uh -huh. but you might make the point here mental pancakes okay. when when cakes comes around He's always friendly with everybody. Everybody likes cakes. Yeah. And the only thing you can ever complain about it, cakes does is he'll spam your site yeah. with crazy um, links and music, weird music. But he's And nice you know what? Guy. I wouldn't tolerate that from some people. I'd uh, right. do whatever right. I okay. needed to. But then then there is those like uh, mental pancakes. Uh, he could uh, spam 24-7 uh, on on whatever I got would bother me a bit. And matter of fact, I'd find most of it to oh, okay. uh, be meaningful. Well, see, but that that's an exception though. Right. So, well, there you go. Look, all I'm saying, Vincent is you're tied to this somehow that the rest of us aren't because she was nice to you and to the rest of us. She was not so nice. Well, maybe Cirque, but mm. Cirque told me tonight, Hey, you're not going to make me, make an enemy out of her. I, I don't give a fuck if you like her or not. She doesn't live here with us. <laughs> Good God. I mean, you know, if I had to wake up next to that in the morning, I might complain and go, hey, no, 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 circle. We got to talk. But uh, no, as far as the internet goes, I don't care who's online or who ain't. I got an Iggy button and I ain't, I ain't ashamed to use it. And I don't give a fuck what you think about me at all anyway. But not having to read it's just a lot nicer. Makes my uh, self esteem go up about eight hundred percent. Look, Vincent. Come well, on. We all like to feel good, don't we? Well, you know, maybe some people need to be slapped in the teeth a couple times before they Sometimes learn. Sometimes that, yeah. Before yeah, they learn the lesson, I agree. you know. And absolutely. And you know, and okay, maybe your approach. If you approach this in a different light, can I just suggest that to you? You're on the right track as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, I'm trying maybe, to work through that. And thanks, okay. Circle, too, okay. for, for talking to me. But maybe, I'm, I'm not past admitting the, where I'm wrong. And I have certainly okay, – right. uh, 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 well, yeah, the nonviolent communication has been out, out the window. Well, uh, I've, I've let my uh, – yeah, I'm letting my emotion run here. You, uh, I'm, I'm a very passionate to... person. Mm -hmm. And – but I'm not standing any differently. Okay. But, and yeah, you're okay. you're funny on your rub there, sock. Let's get past the 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 explaining and the and all that talk to get to this point. And get right. Why don't you just go behind everybody 
is quit doing tying up the main feed and do some negotiating or at least bring Grimm an offer of some kind. You've made you've made your point. We've heard it. I think we're all Yeah, clear but on I'm this. I'm making the case and I'm that's gonna require me uh asking some questions. I know Kate will cooperate. Uh, I don't think she has any fear uh in answering some questions and I need to write them down and formulate them. Right. You know, I wanted to start with Beetle. Okay. Well, is it okay to call somebody a cunt? Ah, of course it is. Sure it is. It's not nice. It's rude. It's not nice. Rude, but, eh, what, I mean, it's the person on the on the receiving end. But I'm going to tell you this. If you call me that every time you talk to me, we're not going to talk for very long. So right. there, there's a limit. Exactly. Okay. Well, even I, as offensive <clears throat> as I can be, I even have a limit. You might find that surprising. Uh, I have pretty far limits, but yeah, I definitely I have limits. I realize that, and I know. Look, we're not blind to your side of this, Vince. Don't, but don't be so goddamn condescending. Like we're all a bunch of idiots, and we don't know what you're talking about. That's the root. I, I, I've, I've got to wonder though. No, I mean, you're I've, just not being, being clear. No. I'm not saying it well enough. And that's no. why I have to keep saying it okay. again and well, again because sounds... I'm obviously not saying it right. I understand you. I, I'm just, how can I make this any more clear? <clears throat> it's not my area. Uh, go to my manager. Leave me out of this here uh, political shit. You know what I mean? Because all this is, this is the political side of society that we endure, whether we willingly understand it or not. We make verbal agreements with each other. When we break the verbal agreements, there's a price to be paid. What the hell don't you understand is what I don't get. Maybe uh, uh, no, let, no, let me go ahead and address sock. Then can maybe you can uh, I, I don't, weigh in I on don't this. I don't want to bother with sock. I, I don't need the the arguing is the problem. It's not the solution. We're, I, I'm not yeah, here to fight so. with you. Look, what I think. What let, let me suggest as a good Jewish friend would do for twenty percent. <laughs> no, seriously, <laughs> I think that you should go to, and you're going to hate the way I'm going to put this, but just listen to it. Okay. Go to the people who are in authority at reallibertymedia.com. I would suggest um, Cowboy Tech, um, Miss Kate Grimner, and ask the three of them to sit down, talk to them, quit threatening. Ask if there's any way to fix this. Don't, don't kick the door in and think that the guy behind it ain't going to shoot you, Vinny. Come on. Use, you know, you've made your point. Everybody understands where you where you stand. And now take it to the diplomacy level and, and try to fix something instead of just making another demand. All it does is it really kind of gives the first demand more power. Break the mold, yep. man. Somebody's got to break down. and. and that, that's what we're right. doing right now, I thought. Okay, but, well... You, you, where, you, since we've been talking, you can hear uh, a change in my tone, I but think. But negotiating is not easy for people to do because they always no. know, well, I want something, <laughs> but what do I get? No. Maybe that's what this particular um, case, because there's so few of us at RLM in the beginning, that maybe Grimner and Kate and Cowboy Tech and yourself could sit down and because you got to face this. This this is their responsibility to run the site. So we have to leave certain things to their discretion. And if it's irreparable, it needs to end. And if it can be repaired, it needs to be repaired. But That's wonderful th advice. But three days of you bashing me about a decision I have nothing to do with is... I'm not bashing you. Okay, the way I'm taking I, it... I, I, got I have exempled you. Well, I've got you're to do you're a friend, it. so yeah. I, I think that you and I first and foremost ought to be able to to speak a little more plainly yeah. than uh, Maybe well, so. like with sock puppet. I I can't speak plainly with him. <laughs> well, look what he's saying. <laughs> no, I, don't, I have I don't, to read it. No. He's, he's he's challenged it, and I'll, it's okay. I'll address it. But it's if, it's if you don't care. But I don't, and that's what I mean. I, I'm trying to live up to that harsh part where. It, it doesn't matter, and the way it doesn't matter easiest for me is to not see it. If I don't see it, then it ain't there. Don't matter what it is. 
Oh, I see where Frumpy may be agreeing that I've made uh, uh, statements here I can't take back. Uh, he says the fuzzy logic bad, will bad, continue, bad. and I will never admit truth. You know what? It's not in my best interest. But he pre he starts this with this. Here's the rub. Vinny has already made agreements with Chloe, and he can't go back. What agreements oh, have I made with her? No, I haven't I, made any agreements with Chloe. Yet. Let me. I haven't made any agreements right. with anyone. Can I stand up for you here? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Because I got opinions too, and, and I want to talk a little <laughs> bit about this, but. Um, I think that taking it seriously, it only happens when when you're closer to somebody. It's not like everybody's opinion matters. You, you yeah, you're the right. People that you lean towards. Okay. Now you're a big sweet talking Southern boy and all that bullshit. We know what I'm talking about. And it worked on Chloe. Okay, Chloe didn't like the rest of us. She liked you. So here we are. In the reality of this thing, how it looks to everybody else, isn't pretty. Okay? You want to hear it or you don't? Yeah, I want to hear it because yeah. I can see that aspect. Okay, just accept that. You know, you're you're non-combative. I'm combative as fuck. And I know that. But there's a lot of people that I've seen her combat that aren't. She attacked them. Over and over, so it kind of made me battle weary looking on it. So I'm fine. I find no sympathy, but I would suggest maybe a, a negotiation behind the scenes. And if the uh, if the promises can be met from this point on, then why not? But that's not been discussed. Everybody's just all about, well, this happened and she did it and da da da. When I know she did it, but. I'm like you. Is if I don't really want to see what you're writing, I'll just dig at you. Don't matter. Out of sight, yeah. out of mind. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I was just dreading doing the show tonight because I thought you were gonna be mad at me about this. When I don't have a dog in the fight, I'm I'm out of it. And if anything, no, I'm, I'm and the new if, is a. Um, but if anything, I'm split I, because I see yeah, I'm using both sides. For me to, to, to hold. Uh, and bring, I don't know what the words I'm looking for yet. Um, as a tuning fork in a sense. Uh, okay. Well, I look, it's not a matter of balance and it's a matter of decision. Somebody <laughs> made a decision based on information. Come on, just, <laughs> but any decision that's made can be unmade or amended or changed you can always wheel and deal with somebody and get them to agree to your terms of usage. Come on, Vinny, there's limits. We know this. This isn't some stranger came on the RLM. This is somebody that's been doing this for years. All the fucking time. You could you could see the <laughs> clock. And she is not all the time, though. Oh, that, she has a okay. lot of great contribution to this uh, uh, channel. Oh, many, yeah, many the times. Artist, a fine artist. I thought she was talented. She could draw a nice um, picture. But uh, so I can do that. What the fuck has that I, got I've, to do with I've been allowed, being Have decent? I not have been allowed these last three days this rant? Piss on everybody off. We all do it. I rant. Well, what do you rant? I've done it on purpose. Beetle I'm not rants. making any excuses. Don't get me wrong. Who's asking for excuse? Who gives a shit, Vinny? You're getting all over full of yourself again. Hey, I got to get a, something to drink. Give me a second, right. please. Yeah, Thanks. I'll give him a musical interlude on my harmonica. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. <laughs> well, anyway, we're at In a Perfect World, faced with the Real Liberty Media's problem of the day. And uh, all I was trying to do is, is bring some peace to the problem instead of making the problem bigger and losing more people because the reality is a certain way, but the details make it human. And then, you know, everybody ends up voicing their opinion and then you split and then nothing ever happens. So, I don't know. Hey, Grim, you want to come on and talk about it on the radio? You up to that? That'd be cool. 
I mean, I I don't think I think you smoked enough that you're calm down to that helps. Thank you, Vince. Well, uh, thanks for talking to me, Flash. Yeah. Mm. You yeah, know, you, you really I, do have a lot of meaning in my life. Mm. Well, I appreciate that, Vince. It's just I'm just trying to bring balance. You know, like the dog. The dog when the dog uh comes and wants you to pet him because that's what they know at the moment is necessary to make the balance good. All my dogs are gone. Well, okay, but when I know, I, I've I mean, got one, they, so. they're, they're unaccounted for. Ouch! I bought a bought a brand new bag bag of uh, gravy train, and um, I only seen the little black dog, but uh, all the the other three are gone. Uh oh! Unaccounted for. Maybe somebody's snatching dogs. You never know yeah, anymore. I somebody would have killed them. I've read a, and and heard a lot of horrible things about. Uh, my ex homeland over the last seven and a half years. Yeah, and this guy down the road, uh, another neighbor that I did not like, this Yankee down here. Uh, <laughs> he don't live there anymore, but he still got the land. Anyways, uh, we had uh, this been years ago. We had uh, uh, a sort of, uh, anyways. But so this guy, he's I, who I don't like either. He's an asshole. He's uh shoots this guy's hogs because they got out and you want to brag to me about it and i i told him i said you have no right to shoot his hogs okay you know can i what, what, can i you might have the right but what should he have done but can i question you about the the shit we've been talking about and just give you some questions to answer and you can take as long to answer as you want but okay Pat, you mind doing that yeah i don't know i don't mind okay because I'll start it out with, I asked Grim if he wanted to join the conversation. He declined. He said, I'm doing a fine job. So, I would assume that maybe just if you would tell Grim, instead of all the threatening, and what are you trying to accomplish? What is your goal? You know, what would you like to see done to make this good for everybody and not just you? To, to admit that it was not a fair decision to kick somebody out because that they were having uh, uh, not good conversations with other people that were doing the very same thing with her, that other people do the same thing, and that right exists. And uh, I think that uh, what should be done is uh, she should be unbanned. And uh, if she doesn't wish to participate here further, which may be a very good point that Grimner made earlier, and she has that right to choose for herself. Uh, Buena Taco said something earlier to me, and I can't remember exactly what it was, but you know, basically the, the enforcing on others uh, is uh, is not this this, this uh, voluntary idea that we have. It's uh, it's a type and a form of aggression, um, and I don't think it was a fair decision because uh, Kate was involved emotionally as well. And she should have been able to exclude herself uh, emotionally from that uh, it, as a moderator. But um, I don't think that's a possibility. So then, therefore, she should have allowed, uh, if this, Chloe has been banned, it should have went to one of the other administrators, uh, then Moosey or Grimner or uh, Cowboy Tech. Uh, just seems like that should have been passed over. Uh, and, I, and I just think that's fair. That if we represent liberty here, real liberty, then we have the right uh, to be wrong. Uh, Chloe, the uh, Beatles, says, you know, a thing about her is uh, favoring abortion. Abortion is, is murder. Uh, and I think that anybody that thinks that uh, abortion is okay ought to go watch a video of an actual abortion being per performed. And now these new laws being uh, abortion. Uh, after the baby is born, well, there's not much different than that, than a, a partial birth abortion, uh, you know, where they stab. That's more, it's more humane to do a partial birth abortion than uh, where, what, maybe a third trimester where they go in there and they uh, suck the baby apart wow. and crush it and pinch the parts off and smash the skull and suck it out with a vacuum. At least you're being more honest yeah. in the fact that uh, you want to murder it after it's been born. Yeah, you know, I make no excuse for murder, but she okay. has every right to express her idea 
And the more a person is wrong, the more I encourage them to speak. Because it can only <laughs> can only bring forth truth. I don't I don't disagree with your premise. Okay. I just disagree with uh, responding to authority with authority is it's all the same. So you just gotta admit there's rules. Period. Yeah. Whether but I've not I've not threatened uh, okay. any action no I'm except not for threat. Well, act, taking action on my own of I, my own i was just commenting back on what i thought you yeah. said <laughs> i got stallone over here you can kick your ass uh, telling you to be messing with me anyway no i i wanted to ask you questions that i felt were relevant to this particular topic being as we're in a perfect world and I'm still Flash, and you're still Vincent. And we've managed to not uh, get pissed off and end this tonight. So I thought, being as you could, you know, make a record of it. And and when we're done, you should listen to, you know, from the beginning to the end and see. Absolutely. <laughs> and, yeah. not, and I'm not judging your point. Your point's valid. Yeah. Nobody, except for when... They're, you know, like shitting on the floor. But see, the, my version of shitting on the floor and the electronic version are the same. They're just represented differently. And because instead of smelling it and, and you know, it's in your face, you're reading it on a screen. And you're almost kind of like, unless you are like me and you'll go, fuck this and put it on ignore. Uh, well, you're being held hostage against your will by somebody that is enjoying torturing you. <laughs> so it's a, it's a catch twenty two, Vinny. It's all a man you know, interpretation. When I went to L.A. in '86, uh, and uh, I heard these shock jocks, it was like my jaw dropped. I just came from the south, the deep south, and it was like these people would be in jail. Now it's everywhere. You know, you can shit on the floor and call it art. You can rub shit on two sides of a slice of bread. But I don't think it makes a fit sandwich. Okay. Right. Well, but yeah. that's my opinion. All right. What okay. do I know about art? Right. Uh, but you're being so. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what I mean. What I mean is we got the point. But, I mean, you're a lousy negotiator. You're very Jewish with your demands. You have a, um, you got a good logic to it. it. Makes very good sense. This is very demanding. They're not like, it's not like you're you're making it their idea. You're you're pushing your version of it so hard that mm -hmm. there's no way for the person listening to think of it theirself and agree with you. You're 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 being so aggressive, Vincent. You're right. It? And okay. Sock had a good valid point up there about saying that. I can't go back on it. No, I can't oh, go back on what I said. You can do whatever you I, I have to stand. Please. Huh? You can do whatever you can live with. Don't. You, yeah, you that's get true. no reason. You have no reason to leave than uh, I do. It's, it's a choice that you make. Now, I see what she did as a choice she made. You don't. That's the difference here. Those were the response. You know, her responsibility was to tone down and, and not be that what she ultimately is. How can you control that? How can you control anybody else saying what they say? I don't Does know. the person have to accept abuse I and not, re Iggy. not respond? No, I use the Iggy because Iggy mm. is my friend. Yeah. He says, no, 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 we don't want to read your crap. And then I don't read it. So I read somebody mm. else's crap. So what? Then I write some crap. And in the end, it don't fucking matter. But I'm just telling you, all you need to do is just do the uh, negotiating part in kindness. Stop being such a bully, you big monster. You know that's not nice, yeah. right? Yeah, you could find I know a that. Nicer and way. I was thinking last night, I need to go back and study Daryl Becker's uh, nonviolent communication because I've noticed uh, yeah. of over time here that mm -hmm. uh, that has uh, degenerated. Wow. Severely. Yeah, in, in you be a mean man to me very often, and I tolerate it because eh, you're, it's on the internet or the radio. It's not personal. 
then one night you, you, you hit me a real soft spot at a real weak moment and i went fuck you Vinny." <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I said I'll show I you that. to tell me to shut the fuck up, you bitch. And I went. I see. I saw exactly that escalating. And, and, you know, up. and and I didn't shut the fuck up. You know, I, <laughs> you I know, should have. It made you matter. It was. See, you got set up like a bowling pin, and I was sitting here. Yeah. And but it was so. I was so mad. I was willing to be a prick to my buddy because I was mad. Uh, stupid. This is all ridiculous. And whatever the fuck is wrong with us, we can't uh, be adults and get beyond whatever the fuck our problem is. Then you, this is what you get. <laughs> that, that's really paradox. what I want to do. Honestly, Vincent, dude. And, and I, I am not, right. I, yeah, I've been okay, being a dick. And I am not exaggerating in, in any way when I tell you guys, when I go into the city to go do my little bit of translating, translating, I have fun with it still to this day. And today, I'll tell you a real quick story. They they rotate the kids. It's their first job in public. They've probably never worked before. And they put them in front of a cash register with all these shit things to go get that they've never used. Cigarettes and this cake and that cake and mail and whatnot. So uh, they got a new kid at the uh, the checkout thing and I'm speaking English. And she's following along with me, but it's just a little difficult for her. It was obvious. And when she finally got everything sorted, I said, it would have been a lot worse in Danish. And then she got, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> because we're going to end up in the same spot of pointing things out and saying them in a relative way that could be understood. Maybe that's similar to what's going on with the RLM and, you know, People, uh, personalities, mine, yours, Hansel's, Grimner's, Moose's, uh, Miss Kate, everybody has a personality of all their own. Yeah. They're identifiable. You know, you know that there won't be a, a one out of 10,000 things that Hounds would put up there that I'd ever agree with. But mm -hmm. you know what? Even though I question uh, who he is, but, but then again, People have the right to anonymity, and I'm non-anonymous, well, yeah, so yeah, that yeah. so that others can be anonymous. Yeah. Look at all these trolls I deal with over here on Twitter, and I take an ass whipping. I'm not afraid of getting an ass whipping. I promise you that. No, I but I want to grow from the experience, you know. I, I want to learn to not get hit. Well, why don't in a sense. why don't you take this opportunity to uh, use uh, mm. your skills as a negotiator instead of a bully? Because no matter what you say, your tone carries your message. And I've been reading a lot of negative Vinny shit for two fucking days now. And it's like, I understand your side, but it, to agree with you at this point puts me on that side. And I don't want to be on it. I don't want to be on yeah. anybody's side. I don't want to have this problem at all, which led me to, well, maybe we could just renegotiate her status amongst the tribe and if she's willing to, you know, behave a certain fucking way like the rest of us, because uh, well, be careful have... in that statement, because the rest of us is pretty broad in perspective. But yeah, I would, but I would agree to that, wait, 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 and, but, or but, wait, negotiate wait. to to that effect. You nothing... know, if she doesn't wish to stay here, then she can leave on her own accord. But I don't think that uh, that banning is is the right answer, and I don't think it was fair, and I don't think it's conducive uh... to what. Uh, the idea of real liberty media is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to pick a side on this one because it's just too obvious. <laughs> can't I can't be nice. I'm gonna be the mean guy. <laughs> you can be your friend, and supporter. But I'll I'll tell you what I do support is this. And I've got no say in anything. I'm just voicing my opinion. Grimner's paying attention in the background. There, he's one of our captives. Uh, I would say renegotiate there's a 50 50 chance she wouldn't want to come back but yeah uh, uh always listening her, right now by the I way okay i think we abide by the same freaking rules if i treated uh beetle in the same fashion that i get along with um uh, hansel in well why beetle's never a rude insulting prick but hansel <laughs> he's my 
sparring partner. He loves it. Wow. He yeah. comes in there just to just to play. You know, that's what that's what he does. Yeah, he lives for it. Right, but I don't treat him. And I, that I can't way. believe he believes all this shit that he says he I believes. I know. Nobody can I be really that lame. But it's fun chat. It's something fun to play with in the and when I get bored of it up I just block him for a while and then come back and play with him some more. But easy peasy. But but to take it all to heart and take <laughs> it seriously is the what you're talking about. It's gone to I agree with that part. But you're dealing with people that this is our uh, communication. This is how we get along with each other. So when you upset the balance of that, and go way over your quota, what you're allowed to do, we're all allowed to do so much. Go beyond it and see if you don't get pulled aside and Grim say, hey, you know, can you ki- calm down a little bit? He did it on the Freakers Ball to me and, and uh, Hansel one night. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, well, did it stop me? No. No, but at least I take um, Iggy timeouts and get off it for a couple days here and a couple days. Give you guys a break. What's wrong with everybody else doing the same thing? That's what I'm saying. Look, uh, I didn't want to pick a side. You're going to force me into this. Yeah, smooth talking southern prick you what am i gonna do it's your well, you, fault I, that's all well, i can I, say <laughs> I'm, I'm very reasonable okay and i don't have to like you in any way shape or form to feel that you deserve what i would feel i would deserve so if, if it was me i'd think i'd i'd want to negotiate with the head honchos and go hey well you know what can i do to fix this and if that's not on the table, then fuck it. Then we're kicking a dead animal here. Let's not. But it, I think it's a, a good topic for the night, you know, for us to uh, use in a perfect world, you know, the both of us together, because apparently I, I found think there a way could to... be anything more but appropriate. I found, I found a way to get you to listen and not do all the talking. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> you, know, you know what, I was actually... Uh, Last week, when was it? I was thinking, fucking Flash always talking over me. And I go, uh, and when we was doing the show, it dawned on me, it must have been the, the dork table. And it's like, no, we're vibrating at the very same time that we're, we're both uh, we're about to talk at the same time. And I, I seen that as opposed to fucking Flash is always talking over me. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> and then I go, wait a minute, maybe I'm talking over him. I think we're doing it both. Both of us are doing it. <laughs> well, see, this is the premise of your complaint regarding this ban is somebody acted in anger against somebody that was being uh, attacking. Let's use that. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah. They fought fire with fire. Okay. Now, is this beyond repair? Can we never get past it? Uh, if you offered her a, a re- reunion in the pack, I mean, would she be willing to tone down on some of the uh, people that care can either ignore her like I do because I'm a sensitive little flower. And, uh, well, no, the truth is I get bored of that shit. I get sick of reading it. So I just iggy people. And that's that. I, it doesn't hurt me if I, I don't uh... see it. Is is uh is this would this be a fair description then? Mutual combat is acceptable. I think that's the standard. We when we just do one on one, it's just amusing to everybody else not in it. It's got nothing to do with that. When you do it to too many people, and you're always, uh, you're always picking at scabs that certain people have, or trying to, yeah. or so blatantly like the tr- twumpy thing. I do it with my great big orange head, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not picking on any one person. I'm Trump to me is a big orange head. I don't see a president, or I don't know what you guys see. I just see a used car salesman that should have been buried a few years ago. But no, oh yeah, he definitely looks like a used car salesman. I never saw him like that. Definitely, he's a. And some, I've had friends that sold them, so I'm kind of being rude, but some of them are some greasy, na- to sell cars, you got to know some tricks. Let's just say that. you got to be a good liar. Well, 
there, I had a friend that was very honest as a normal person, and he sold cars, and he did what he had to do, but he wasn't as bad as most. So, yeah, you're probably right. Maybe one out of ten ain't a worthless. That one out of ten that is worth your time, he's still making a profit, too. So, it's a catch-22, man. What are you going to do? People got to eat. I've sold stuff. It's like, what are you going to do? You you know, you if you're going to exist in life you need some source of finance that's how it's always been staying one step ahead of the system is not getting in debt for a home and two cars and two kids that's the trap well i've uh, avoided most of that or gave it up anyways with the divorce <laughs> well uh I, I had to practice a few times before I could do it right, I think. But, life is a lot simpler. Well, no. I think my history in my life was that things in my life changed so qu quickly compared to other people. I, I had a, my buddy John used to say that uh, I lived in loo years, that they were hmm. way faster than normal people years. You know, because I would do so much in such a short period of time compared to my peers. When I was settled in one spot, you see the same people every day. They don't go anywhere. They're there all the time. Once a year, they might take a week or something or two weeks and go somewhere. But the rest of the year, they're right where they're at. So that's not the really the life that I wanted to do. I think I lost Vincent again. <laughs> Where yeah, were yeah I, I was I'm where? wondering about my mind. Right. So, we've come clear on uh, the idea that if uh, there was some kind of way to renegotiate the status of the great band of 2019, <laughs> would that solve everybody's problem, not just yours? See, I don't, I don't want it to appear like I'm no, giving no, no. some ultimatum. I, I, I want to be, I wanted it to be what measured and, and uh, in the scales. Well, that's what I'm saying. If there's ways to negotiate this, I think you should do it between you and the and the people that that make the decisions that run the site, Vincent. Don't you know? Don't be so anti uh, reality that you can't see things are done in a specific way for a reason beyond our understanding or control. They're just done that way, and getting it to uh, change a decision isn't all that hard, but be a little nicer. <laughs> how, how do you, how would you feel about this, Kate? Grimner yeah. and uh, Moose Girl, Cowboys not here. Well, well, all I meant was I don't know who I would just assume because those people are the ones that have the power, Moose Girl and uh, Miss Kate. I well, I probably didn't even say Moose because I thought she was so <laughs> obvious. She does radio with Grim every week. It's not yeah, like I one goes without the other. To me. I wouldn't take so. that role as administrator. Well, okay. Mm, crying out loud. What we, okay. I, no, I'm saying I wouldn't. I wouldn't take, I wouldn't be in their place. I would hope not. I did, I did it. I did it. You're too uh, mean. You, you see gotta, why and you can, you're you always not going to ever be yeah, the you good guy always. you got a bad attitude, mister, and you're too mean to be an admin. I would not want you to uh, be one. You would scare me. Yeah, but but I'm right. fair. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm you're, always fair. I'm Christ. consistent in being fair. But you're and mean, I don't think Vincent. anybody can find fault to me in that. Maybe not, but you're still a bully, and you're still mean, and you're using... Yeah, your, but I've been what, fighting, I man, and I, I told you the other day, I was fighting in my dreams. Yeah, you're making and me it, sad. it is a battle. This is a serious battle I'm in, and it, okay. and it does uh, uh, you know, okay, have a very can, strong effect on me. Can, can you relax enough to um, try to renegotiate something, or... Ask yes. Grim to answer you on the type right here. You know, ask him a direct question. See if he wants to even consider it. Because I took can it upon can... myself to offer it. If it was a possible way to come to a decision, would it be renegotiating the contract? <laughs> I have to ask Kate uh, foremost or first. Because I'm on obviously. anarchist, and I, and is, there, is there a way in Grimner? Can, can we do something different here? Okay. I'm not giving ultimatum. Yeah, I'll, I'll quit. I won't around. do that. I, no, I but won't. There, 
there's a delay. And, and I don't want it to appear, right. I don't want it to appear to, to be in your acquiescence would, would uh, seem to be uh, uh, succumbing to, to uh, ultimatum. I, it's not it at all. Okay. Well, and I, I don't, uh, I, I, well, I can't take it back because I said it because I meant it. I can't. I've, I've got to be a part of something that is, is honest and true. And I just think that that is the honest and true thing to do. Uh, and I was just suggesting that renegotiating a contract because that's the only thing I know. You got battle and you got avoidance and you got contract. <laughs> Take a pick. They all hurt, but, you know, some hurt less than others. <laughs> I mean, we're civilized people. At least this is the way I feel, right? So if somebody wants to be a part of the, you know, collective that we all seem to be a part of this, that they should, you know, pull their own freaking weight and not always be a victim of everything that doesn't go their way when they're so obviously repeating regurgitated crap from politicians that lied. So it makes it really difficult, Vincent, to, you know. Right. So, you know, you're asking people to do what's um, not only uncomfortable, but I have uh, family and friends that other people would insist that I go against my nature. Like going against my uh, my partner about going to Scotland, but I finally gave in. But it took like six months, and I I was to the point of, you know, if you ask me one more time, I'm going to go to Scotland <laughs> just to get away from your voice. But anyhow, I finally did, you know. But the, de the delivery of the message was the problem, not the deed. See? I'm just trying to suggest that there's always an answer to a problem, and the nicer that you are about asking people to, to give you something they don't want to give you in the first place, if that is indeed the case. The nicer you are, the closer you're going to get to their reality button, and they're going to go, yeah, I did this in anger, I'm over it, or no, I'm still angry. Beatles made his point. I'm, I'm a, still I'm, angry, and I'm not I've moving. been a, a very, very much angry uh, flash. And, uh, well, I'm not. Step, I walked down so, yeah, I, I walked down some that anger uh, right, but with you. See, Vincent, if it was me, I would have gone to Grimm and renegotiated, or at least I found out what did I do to. I mean, I must have done something. That, no, that's I came in obvious. storming in. Well, whatever. That's why it didn't work, pal. That's why yeah. you, nobody that acts out in violence, you're just a cop. Stop it. You want to be a police on a freedom site? There's already a police, they call them admins. <laughs> That's why they call them admins. What did this, you think uh, they were called admins This Machiavellian saying that the, the man uh, is not made by the title, but the, the man not. makes the title. Okay. These people that uh, say, oh, I'm, I'm not a real reporter and I have no credentials. So <laughs> I, I make the statement first and foremost that I'm a witness and, and I report. So I bring from one place to another that. Uh, so that's a reporter. Um, right, right. Wait, wait, in my wait, media, wait. yes, by every but definition well, of the word media. We, we were trying to get... I, we I have just, get, you yeah. know, a very few people. I have no desire for fame or fortune. I don't make any money doing what I do. Right. I spend my time and my money. Finny, it's us. We know that. What we don't know is if Grim was talking to you here, I was trying to get you to talk to him about this on the radio and see is there a way to renegotiate this thing to set this thing straight is for there a way minute, to renegotiate this to, just to set I, this thing straight yeah, for me? Everybody. and i have to ask i have to ask kate too because she is uh, the participator also she has the authority right, 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 right. And, and so i can't uh, go to graham Without going first well, to you Kate and asking her. You can't do her. one without the other. It's, the point is, is we got Grim listening now. Will you stop being so difficult? I know you want to be right about something. You're going to be if you talk long enough. 
Yes. Touche. That's what Mr. got me. Yeah, I got I, I get, get got that away a lot. Well, it's not the end of the world one way or the other, but I don't think Grimm is uh, beyond conversation. See, I, I'm not trying to commit anybody to anything more than will you at least talk to the authorita and accept it as that, and if they come up with a deal, abide by it. And yeah. you got to realize, if people aren't clear on this in the first place, what kind of life are they living? That they can just shit all over everything that they touch, and, and they're never, you know, never responsible for what they do. That's what happens a lot of times in these worlds, isn't it? Well, people no. just shit on it. Well, no, but when they do, these are the results. When Goober yeah. does it, when he gets, I mean, come on. Sometimes the guy is so rude to Moose, it's just beyond why she even speaks to them. But I figure she's kind of hopeful that one day he's going to really understand he's, you know, being an idiot. But Goober is a mentally unstable person. <sighs> oh, who is? Yeah, you have to please. know that. I know oh, he's he's a nutter for, for sure. And I hope he knows that. Oh, here we go. We're all whacked to some point. That's the reason we're here. If we fit into this fucking mess they call society, we wouldn't go to the RLM. We'd be out there getting inoculated and insuring our cars. Chloe, oh, Grimner asked if it. I've even asked you um, if you even want to come back. Yeah, have you ever asked her if she wants to come back? She's listening right now. Well, there you go. Have answer. He's asking you. Did you ask her? I don't know. Do I? Yes. Yes. I, I asked her right now. Then. Don't um, make me raise my price. Well, I mean. Vincent. With the. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, what is your even your? I, I've. None of this has been based on what. Uh, oh, I thought Chloe would do or not do. Fuck. It's the only the idea, and and I tell you. Uh, I might certainly, uh, well, ain't no mind about it. Uh, I like Chloe. She's a, a good friend and, and a good influence on me over this time. Uh, she affects a lot of my perception in this world. And I felt like uh, that is theft of me to have removed her from uh, from that, that form there. You know, that that's just, you know, part of my feeling. I, I admit fully that uh, uh, it is all my... Uh, it's not been a rational response uh, but <laughs> you know i knew that and i chose to do that i just okay. felt like uh i had the right to do that you're making and, and it's a, a yeah, point of demonstration yeah. that that very essence of what it is here that i'm saying and i'm saying it's 420 somewhere can right i call now. you underdog rough Rough, I mean, my you, friend. What every underdog cause in the freaking world, and you want to stand there and take a punch for it? Oh, you're crazy, man. man. I take the punches. Hey, did you know that the climate is changing? <laughs> <laughs> so is time, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy kids and your wacky uh, time. <laughs> global time oh, change. Hey, you know what? I I want to interrupt your rant you're complaining and you're sniveling for a minute and tell you about a link I saw just the other day. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. You know how I, I have this real um, distrust for my people, the Jews, and I think that most of the shit that we're taught and told and all these fucking stories and theories and ideas that maybe 10% of it might be true, but the rest of it's a bunch of crap. So... At a few years back, I would make fun of even people like Einstein. Yeah, I go, oh, really? E equals what the fuck? <laughs> what are you talking about? And uh, now, just the other day, <laughs> I, I saw a link that's claiming that Einstein is full of shit and we were misled by the stuff he was trying to get us to repeat. And all along, I just thought, if they told me, there's got to be something wrong with it somewhere. <laughs> Get it? Anarchy? Huh? 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 What do you think Anarchy. of that? Huh? Anarchy. Anarchy. Oh, how'd, yeah, like, how'd you like my uh, uh, my word I made up? 
Wait, why do I think of what? I was reading the chat. Never uh, lost you. Oh yeah, I, I was over here too. So I have a um, response from Chloe. She says she has no interest in returning if it will offend the majority of the users. She says her objection was the option to ban first and vote later. I I think I so. don't I think that you know what? does it for me as well. I don't I don't think anybody should ever be accused without being a chance to defend herself. That's my personal thing. But I don't see I'm not in a position of decision. I don't want to be because this is why. <laughs> I'll leave that to all you smart people to figure it out. All so I offer she's this, is... Uh, she's going to miss hanging out on Sunday Blues, though. I, I don't know how to answer this. What, can, we uh, rene can we renegotiate in her stead, Grimner? I mean, are you willing, even if, if she's willing to behave in a fashion accountable, that I think she should just get with you and see if she can't work it out. Yeah. You know? Well, and I don't no, have, that, look, I, think that's, I can that's, ignore I think that's whoever, I, but I mean, see, I'm a prick and yeah, people get what they get. And if, if I got it, I would just assume I had it coming for something I said to somebody wouldn't strike me as odd, but I know that about myself. I'm not living in la la land thinking I'm Mr. Freaking wonderful. Are you out of your mind? I already got a wife <laughs> I ain't looking for nobody, you know? I'm not on here to make fucking friends. I'm here to tell you people, this world we live in is so far beyond fucked up that to try to explain it to a, another person, you end up sounding like a moron because everything that they've been taught is the opposite of what you're going to tell them. So you're already starting out in a hole. <laughs> you can't get out of it. And every time, with every word, you dig a little deeper and you can see the distance between you guys. And he, he's getting further away. <laughs> and the hole's getting deeper. <laughs> because that's what society is. The opposite of what's real. <laughs> it's fucked. We, we, <laughs> we got here as a collective. But we didn't get here uh, being told the truth about what was going on. So... Uh, regarding this Chloe thing, I think that should be between, um, actually it should just be between Chloe and, and, uh, uh, Miss Kate. Yeah. We should all, yeah. me, even me, yeah. I'm just uh, voicing an opinion cause I do a radio show, <laughs> but we should just all stay the fuck mm -hmm. out of it. And if the females could work out a deal between themselves that they can agree on that, this whole band thing should just be something that happened and we we yeah have something from it yeah would you please unban uh other people chloe and, and uh other people let's, left. Uh, let's go from there let's address any anything that comes further from that point she I mean, chooses to come over here for grim? for sunday blues may i ask of that yeah we're getting we're getting beetle pissed off but there's an iggy button so i think it, i think it's reasonable that you know for whatever the case this is between the the administrator and the and the person that did it but the end result if it was one of us if it was me the most i would probably expect would be a chance to be heard to make a case to you know unfuck up my mistake but I think first and foremost, it needs to be admitted that there's two sides to this coin. It's not just poor Chloe, look what happened to her. And it's also not, well, she brought it on herself. There's a balance to this. And I would just suggest we try to find one and move forward. And people are just, we need to grow up because you know, that's the price we're paying for being in freedom is... Sometimes people are going to say shit that just rubs your nuts like sandpaper. And that's their fucking right, whether you like it or not. Just like it's mine, it's yours. And if I don't like it, I got a ignore button. I go right to it and go, click, you're gone. That's what I feel as well. But that's not, see, hmm. This is me and you talking on the radio, Vinny. We're not making any decisions for Real Liberty Media. We're offering a suggestion. 
And yes. I think the suggestion, but you're not doing a very good job of it, so I'm stealing no. this part from you. And I would negotiate with Kate's side of uh, fairness that, you know, if you're, you, you've punished her for a period of time here, it's even brought Vincent into this. Okay, that's one thing. But is anybody not worth another chance to fix something that's, as deep as words, but on the other hand, as meaningless. Because it's all, yeah, I know, Rob. Rob's, I, see, I'm for the fair thing and not for the popular thing. This is why I didn't want to get involved, but we did it on the radio, and I got high, so I got honest. Oh, what a drag. I better light my I, pipes more. I'm exhaling right now. Yeah, but, you know, that's what I mean about the weed. It's harder to, to lie and be deceitful when you're stoned because what the hell was I talking about it happens all the time. So when you start talking, you better pick up where you left off. And it's a whole lot easier to just go with the truth instead of trying to think of something. And the truth is, yeah, even a... a even the lowest of lows deserve an opportunity. I mean, if we're not going to gang up on Goober and Hansel, who truly deserve it, in my opinion, but I wouldn't enforce it. I just say, I won't miss you when you leave, but I won't gonna, I'm, I'm not going to stop you from going. But I don't, I'm never going to tell you you can't be here. I'll just ignore you. That's the way I live, not this drama about who's right and who's smarter. I don't give a fuck about any of that. You know, we're we're in the long run, we're we're all right and we're all wrong. And the best we can do is, you know, uh, try to I don't know, try to be as as fair with everybody else as we want them to be with us. And sometimes being the bigger part of that is real difficult. You got to go. Well, see, I'm doing it because she told me with in a conversation with Vince. I'll I'll repeat this to you. Don't listen to him. He doesn't fucking know anything talking about me to Vinny. And because Vinny and me were in a in a spat at the time. So she jumped sides with him. And I'm still against... Ah, uh, fuck. I hate saying this. I'm against banning the bitch because it's life, man. If you don't like it, then don't do it. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, we've been talking about it all night. Vinny... Vinny, hey, circles. Hey, sir. Now, me and Vinny covered all the possibilities. He spoke of his demands. Well, am I? I don't feel it. I'm just saying that the reality of it is, even you know, even I would feel I deserve another opportunity to fix my error. Or, or to to uh, to shore up your your whatever, to fucking it up, whatever. Okay, what Kate says is I have no interest in returning if JT will offend the majority of the users. So that brings it to voting, doesn't it? I, see, what I'm not JT? I'm not about the voting thing. What I was to, about what said what Vinny oh, was with yeah. is there's right and there's wrong, and you can just you just be own that. It's not hard. It's being honest, and the honesty part says that no matter what the bitch says to any fucking body, it doesn't really hold enough weight to. If we were on a boat, I wouldn't throw her overboard. I might so, tie a rope around I, her face, but I wouldn't throw her over the board, you know, over the side. Well, Kate, can I then you know assume I mean? that? Uh, um, just the simple unbanning and allowing the opportunity to at least come over and say fuck you or uh, say I'm sorry or to say nothing at all or to further demonstrate uh, intent. Yeah, it goes would beyond. You, right would you say beyond, that uh, yeah, that uh, perhaps that uh, we can make the exception for that? And uh, if she doesn't want to come over, she doesn't come over. Uh, yeah, after saying fuck you. Uh, can I still ask for for a favor? But you know, I, I honestly that that was all really much so uh, in rage and in demonstration of what I thought the whole irony of the this whole fucking thing uh, is. See, that's where I'm at, Rob. Is that if you know if she, if you find her that offensive, then just block her. I mean, this banning thing is it's just even to me, it's a little over the top. Uh, uh, 
we're we're grown ups. Let's behave as adults should and forgive the weaker one in the group for being stupid. That's what stupid is. I made a mistake. Okay, well there's nothing wrong with that. I've made plenty of mistakes. I will probably wake up in the morning tomorrow and make more mistakes. <laughs> That's life and I'm not perfect. I don't expect Chloe or Vincent or Grim or anybody. Not circle, nobody. <laughs> okay, I expect Cirque to be <laughs> perfect, but everybody else, you're off the hook. <laughs> a anyway, uh, I was just trying to make sense of a bad situation and, you know, try to help everybody come to a middle ground instead of so extreme. Because, man, I know extreme. I've been where Chloe's at more times than I want to remember. <laughs> and I wasn't offered an opportunity to... to change the result a lot of times and there's it, you know it, it's it's an unfair feeling to not be heard when you've been accused of something okay there's what i'm getting at so like i would just say maybe she deserves a trial um oh okay oh okay well rob's okay we're splitting sides and all that. I understand, but uh, hmm. I don't know. There's some things that I guess in principle are way more important than the uh, individual. And I am an anarchist by nature, but rules, they exist and rules are broken and people, you know, they do things that you, you think at the time are unforgivable, but they're just words. We're taking them the way we take them. So, mm, well, yeah, but, you know, okay, consequence, and I'm just saying for the, you know, for the peace, so things need to be negotiated is all, and I'm not saying by me, I'm just using it as an example to set forward some way to solve this and uh, get beyond it, I guess. I, I can only see, say as a reset. There, there's nothing wrong with doing a reset here. Well, uh, I don't think that's. I don't think it. that means that you were saying that you're wrong or anything else. It's not about right or wrong. It's got nothing to do with any of that. It depends on the level you're looking at, I suppose. Because when I stepped out of my thinking and put my negative side down, I I saw what you were saying and I had to agree with it because I do. That's what I believe. There you go. So, regardless of the circumstances that we're discussing, there's bigger things we're talking about that, when you think it through, they'll apply. Because this is a really, really small part of a really, really big machine. And for us to operate, to, um, I think it's got to be complete, whatever that is. And obviously, there's some kind of rift in the balance. <laughs> I we're, think we're uh, Rob work. Works has convinced me that uh, I should stay. <clears throat> okay. All I was trying to say from the beginning is uh, rules are sometimes too stern. Punishments are given out too quickly for... Uh, Reasons that apply at the moment, but don't the next day. Depending on the person that had their, you know, their that was attacked, you know, how how willing are you to hold on to what insulted you? I think is what I'm getting at, because yeah. I'm gonna hold on to it, and I I won't I miss it. I won't miss I not speaking. I gotta write that. Down. But on the other hand, if it was me, I would say, hey, what did I do, and what you know, I would want to fix things even though i probably don't speak that way i'd be more yeah i'd be willing to to uh negotiate because it's not just me this is when you're in a society there's other people that in, they're involved you gotta oh you know here i'll give you a weird example i'm walking home from the store tonight and there's a an apartment building that i pass by and the young fella's got his son, and they're playing in the window. And his son, uh, he's taking off his sweater or something for the kid. 
and he knows me from the street, so he waves, and then the kid waves, and then I wave, and then, <laughs> and this is my daily normal goings on here where I live. Nothing happens that uh, is out. <laughs> it's, it's just peaceful and quiet. So I'm kind of spoiled by that. And then when I read things on the internet, I think that they appeal to my emotional side in a way that wouldn't happen because of the way the information's delivered to me on <laughs> ways I can't explain in detail. <laughs> So you know, what I mean is there's something wrong and it's not just me. And if it ain't just me, then it ain't just you. It's all of us. We're doing something wrong. Let's try to fix Man, it. That was awesome, dude. How willing are you to uh, hold on to what offended you? Well, I go back. I'll go back and re-listen and get the full quote there. That's what I do. And you, know, you have, uh, you know, if I want to be you, mad you presented at you. with me, the, the fact and what Kate says there about it willing to throw away uh well sir yeah, says pride, politics pride is a, pride's a hard thing i it? used politics to get to the part where you know people are just reasonable and they want to talk about it again instead of just ultimatums and i want this and i want that and everybody's mad well let's not be mad and figure out what what's really wrong here so we have the we can change our minds, in other words. I would assume in a free society, you can keep your so, mind made up. You can change. You can do whatever the wind, you know, dictates to you. I'm not dictating. What was it? What, Sock what puppet on. said. So about me not willing to change uh, my view or something like that. So uh, I think you may have convinced me that uh, that's exactly. Uh, you're right going to have do. a lot of people interpreting this in many different ways. All I was trying to do is just see if there was a way to renegotiate the contract. That's what, you know, I've learned society does. They fix things that are broken when they're broken. And if this is broken and it can't be repaired, let's know that. And I don't know, maybe not. Maybe some sometimes you're mad on Monday and Wednesday rolls around. And you really can't remember what you were mad about on Monday anymore. It's gone. So I can be unmad now? It's a choice you make. That's what I'm learning. Good. Anytime Good. I'm mad at anybody else, it's me that's mad. So who the fuck am I mad at? I don't get it. It's so confusing, Vincent. Because uh, yeah. when, when I lost my temper with you on the radio, I didn't lose my temper on the radio. Lost it well after <laughs> that because it carried over and went. Then it got more, more mean. You were being a bully. And for whatever reason, I went, hey, I don't want to do that. But after a little time, I calmed down and was willing to listen again. So what I'm saying is, if I can do this with you, anybody can do this with anybody. All you got to do is just talk. Try to fix the problem and get on. And if that's, that's something else me and you are alike, and we're usually pretty permanent on decisions if, like if that. If you call it politics, or you can call it whatever title you want to call it. It doesn't have anything to do with my point. I was just trying to get through the mess and make everybody happy. What would it take for all of us to feel complete again in the collective? So I think basically like the dog, I want balance. And balance yeah. would be... The cat stays, the dog stays, the wife stays, and I stays. And as weird of a crew as we are, we have this chaos, but it's balanced, and it works like a clock. You all are trying to control just the way Oh. Cirque's over here talking to me in my, well, I am i don't know. I guess I pissed her off, too, but whatever we're doing... I, it's just a talk, and it's just opinions about something that happened. Yeah. And yeah, Graham. how seriously that you want to take the action is probably how seriously that you're gonna. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna allow this to, in, you know, influence me. I'm just saying that if it was me, that's where I, I'd say, hmm, what would I want? <laughs> I'd want everybody to put themselves in that position and be honest and see what they come up with. 
I came up with, boy, I sure want to explain my way out of this mess I dug myself into. And if part of it was admitting that, you know, I had a play in the deal, then I think that needs to be addressed. Well, that's that's what I've that's what I felt to this, and uh, but I think uh, you made I such think you a, to it. I think you wait to it very well, and you, you uh, it doesn't make any thing, difference. Complicated, uh, Vincent. Uh, any consensus, then there's there's no obligation for uh, you know to for me to uh, be a part of consensus or or not uh, to uh, change what it is and what I hope I'm doing. Still could have been nicer. Yeah, you're right. That was the only I, flaw I saw was that you were, you know, because you knew you were taking on half the fucking room. Cause the well, more than it. half the room. Okay. I knew I was All taking right. on the whole room. Mm-hmm. I still am. I still challenge it. It's unfair. And I still call you narrow-minded for uh, not having to... Uh, yeah. Just use the being able to use the ignore. Yeah. You, you, this is used as a as a, Go. a form of tyranny, and it is hypocrisy. And I still uh, well, make the case still of uh, about it, yeah, high crimes. If hear us say, that's <laughs> bullshit. Fucking hear us yeah, say. What so. the fuck, really? Come on. I know. Oh, she said. I know. <laughs> I know. That's what I use. Then what you say? Fucking cunt. And I didn't use so that. So fucking what? Because Swear to God. I kind it's of pitiful, wonder. man. I can still be indignatious about the whole fucking thing. Well, because I see it as atrocity. But you know what? I'm going the wrong direction yeah. here. Let me get back with where I'm going with this. Fuck that. I don't care. Do whatever you want to. <laughs> I know. That's the point. But why all the anger? I can't. I can't change it. No. I had no intention of making an ultimatum. Well, then I, I'm going to go back to what I what I came to at about the half hour ago was this is really boils down to in the long run is between the two people that took part in it. And the rest of us are just, we're just onlookers looking at a train wreck in the long run with our own opinions about what we think. And that just adds to the confusion. So, I don't know. Either renegotiate or don't, but. There ain't no negotiating. I'm. That's a that's a compromise. It is what it is, and yeah. uh, one can accept it or not. So yeah, that's that's go. where I got to move forward. That's where we came to you and I together, or where you helped lead me along to working uh, through it. I don't have any plans to move myself beyond the real liberty media dot com. I'm gonna stay right there. Yeah, that that vote was uh, rhetorical. It, it was in uh, uh, as in. Well, four people voted that Chloe should be kicked out, and you were among them. And as your role as administrator, uh, you chose to uh, ban her. So I think you should be excluded because you were personally involved. That's my opinion, and I don't think there's uh, anything wrong with that. What if Judge Navarro was uh, somehow involved with this whole political thing of stealing the land from uh, and the rights and the properties and the waters from people out west? Oh! Wait a minute. Oh, fuck. She is, ain't she? I'll be damned. Wow. That's, all, that's just how I see it. I, I know, mean, I'm just it's, saying. You're so deep-rooted in it. It's way beyond my understanding. I understand, Things man. Are, yeah, if know, we're looking maybe, for justice, it's not just us. Maybe not. And especially not just four people that decided, uh, made a decision uh, in consensus for 39 other users here counting the the, uh, in total bots and bodies, make that 40. <laughs> Judge Dredd is back. <laughs> oh, yeah. good God. Yeah, well, I already made a stand on that. So. All right. Well, <clears throat> I have a scathing review for this. Uh, and uh, you know what? No. Uh, what? Fuck it. I, I ain't leaving. Now, <laughs> we'll see if uh, Rob Works is uh, going to be a man of his word. Stand by what he said. Or will he change his mind? <laughs> <laughs> What's okay, not true, Kate? I, I don't know. She'll type it out for you, though. Uh, be, uh, wow. <clears throat> this is weird that we did this on the radio, but I thought yeah, it would be It's fun. been cleansing for me. <laughs> really has. But you're so mean. You're a bully. I was. Bully, 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 bully. I, I got me, you know man, what? because I've been in this fight. I'm sorry. I'm not going to make any excuses here. Um, but I, I will... Uh, Admit my fault. 
and uh, seek to uh, rectify that. Certainly. Yeah. And I think, uh, well, I, I did start, I went over to, uh, 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 Dr. George Simon in uh, one of his recent blogs. And so I tend to also need to go back and study some with uh, Daryl Becker. Look at this, uh, state of mind that I brought myself to. But you, you know, really I, I'm, I'm dealing at a very serious level here. I've got good friends, people that I've made became very dear to uh, making statements of uh, um, that can, that's, that they're going to come and take these people and kill them or lock them up. You know, uh, language and words are very important. And I say, guard your words. Uh, <laughs> and, and when people spraddle, I like, I like to hear them do it. But you know, if you're just making a point here, they had rhetoric, then uh, they, the words are still taken against you. And I, I put mine out there, all kinds of rhetoric this last few days. And like I said, I did on purpose. Well, good. We're, we're all pleased. Thank you. For well, that. oh, sorry, I interrupted you. I don't know. I'm just being a smart ass. The end of the show, Vincent. We got like 10 minutes. <laughs> ah. Oh. Well, it's a metaphorical one, Kate. The wow. uh, participation in the boat, man. Uh, you you were in the arguments in words back and forth. You and the other people, Beetle, Rob, whoever else. You were in part of the discord. So, therefore, your ability to act as arbitrator is negated, in my opinion. Well, if then, that makes well, sense. wait a minute. Then whoever was moderator. Now, nah, that's insane. Come on. who? That woman worked on everybody's last nerve, and you're trying to pretend she didn't. Doesn't help what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, well, Ed, I'm not. I'm not saying that at all. Oh, okay. I'm just saying that's to respond right. in here to, uh, cl to Kate and c clarifying that question. Hmm. That's, that's the way I see it. Well, I had fun being a political pawn in the Overlord's Master game. Thank you for playing in a perfect world, people, where everything is perfect. Especially exactly. Vinny. Vinny is perfect number one, and I'm perfect number two. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, man, I'm glad we did radio today, Flash. You, uh, you, you changed my heart and changed uh, my mind. You just needed to calm down. Get over your anger part of it. Yeah. yeah. You did well, that for me. When you seriously look at a prohibition or a ban, they're in the long run they're always wrong. So go yeah. Going with the government's kind of way to take out anger is backfires on you and this is how it does. So well, idiot that knows you know, deep down inside even a moron has got a reason for being there. And you have to accept it. I do. Yeah. I ex people accept me. Can't stand the freaking side of my name, and I'm still here. So, you know, let, live and let live. Yeah, but Kate, uh, if, if you're and you're taste, right. You're a witness, and, and uh, yeah. you've not done no differently than I'm doing now. So but if it you're, irritates uh, you, you're stood as witness in uh, and in condemnation and it. in judgment. So, Squash it. yeah, I accept that. <laughs> I don't know. If you kids can play this out and come to an end that makes everybody happy, I'll be amazed. There's there's no uh, there's no negotiation. I, I don't have uh, any okay. right to ask for a negotiation, no. No. and I never did. You I didn't. never uh, gave an ultimatum. I only stated what I was going to do. Right. And, uh, and I, I you know, in, in anger. So ground. you, you uh, offered me a path to see that uh, I don't have to be right here, and uh, uh, you don't have to accept what I have to say. Yeah, well, IRC rule number one, don't piss off the channel apps. You get it? It's uh, not new. I, it's old I stuff. could give a shit. Look, I'm going to I'm gonna say, say it how I see it. And sometimes, no. uh, well, of late, I've gotten pretty gruff about how I do it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a bad reflection on myself. Yeah, you know what I'm really glad about right now? I'm glad your parents didn't name you Bullwinkle. Because when that would I had be to cool. talk to you, I would laugh when I said your name. <laughs> I'd go, hey, hey, boy, <laughs> <laughs> See, 
See, <laughs> how could you ever look somebody else and say, hey, hey, Bullwinkle? No. <laughs> I don't think it can be done without laughing. But they did it on TV with a cartoon, but I don't think you can do it in real life. <laughs> no. Hey, Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. There you go. <laughs> so you want to... Uh, you want to do the wind up and tell everybody what's <clears throat> playing and when we're done with this crap? <laughs> yeah. You, Germany, you, didn't, you didn't take me off the schedule, did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Kate says, I, I, I intend to uh, uh, declare that uh, Real Liberty Media has failed here in this. <laughs> no, I'm just being honest, and, and I'm going to try to to use nonviolent communication words when Thank I do you. it. <laughs> Okay, that's better. Thank you. Yeah, well, I think yeah. you're wrong, Kate. <clears throat> but that doesn't matter. Not no, at all. it doesn't. Because right. it, it has, I have no uh, way in on it whatsoever. I can only do what it is that I do, and that's all I proposed that I was going to do. And as uh, you pointed out, I, I can change my mind. You can do whatever you want. Just be nicer about it. If I was nicer to I'm people. Trying. I'm going to try. And it really doesn't sound like it, I guess, at the moment. But... Can you imagine how successful I would be if I was nice to people, Vinny? <laughs> Jeez. I would have a, a like... swimming pool and a yacht and all that crap. But I'd be responsible to other people I don't want to be responsible to. Get it? Mm. I choose... a. Uh, more um, sane, easier life. So, you know, it requires a lot less. And then I come, I've got time to think about, well, if I was that other person, what would happen to me? That's all I was bringing to the conversation. What well, if I, I tell you, you walked me through it real nice, man. But still, what I know if you it didn't was want you? To. I, I'd always, you know, unless I, I don't even know, maybe if I murdered somebody, would I go up there in front of the judge and go, hey, but I need another chance. <laughs> okay, but this is not murder. This is words on a screen. So maybe we're all just taking this way too serious and letting it rule us and it's doing what it's supposed to when it does that. Hmm. Maybe I'm full hey, of Dreamer. shit and I don't know what I'm was... talking about. I mean, I'll give you that too for the people that are going to be against my concept. But I believe, and I always say this to you guys, if you live in the truth, then shit can't go wrong. When shit goes wrong, it's because somebody was full of shit lying. This is what I, happens. There you, you go. You know what? Can we laugh now? Oh, yeah. Bullwinkle. <laughs> I, can, I can go over to my last uh, uh, quit and uh, say, never mind, I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Do the lie for the next one. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Hey, Grimner, no, I was just pulling your leg. I said he said he didn't remove me from the schedule or my banner or show pages or anything. <laughs> and and Judge Dredd, wow, what what acclimates from him that he says that uh, I stood nothing with, uh, but with my uh, cardboard sign, I think is how I uh, paraphrase it together with him and Goober. Uh, that's well, uh, do that's the me. I got a sign. So we Here's can my sign. close up. Yes. Thanks, Flash. I appreciate it. We so really uh, this has been in a perfect world to uh, Mara Wednesday. Grammy comes along at 6 o'clock in Kansas time. And Thursday, it is Flash at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Friday, uh, I'm, I'm here uh, with a ponder gander. Ta -da. And uh, you know, at noon o'clock uh, central time. And I. Then comes a Grammy at 6 again at her time. 10 o'clock Central is the Freaker's Ball, y'all. And back again at 11 Central on Saturday for the Dork Table. At uh, about a quarter to 11 Central, you come on over to Real Liberty Media for some uh, blues and some trivia. Followed by Hal at 12 p.m. on the left coast out there on the Pacific side of these here uh, continental United States of America. And then uh, Grim Leftovers is at 7 p.m. Eastern time on Mondays and back again here to In a Perfect World. And that is at uh, 12 Central, 1 p.m. Eastern on Tuesdays. Okay, so does this mean that you're still dork tabling? Yeah, man, I, you know. Okay. 
I was mad. I was all mad. Right. Well, could... you got it. You know, life is too short for all this drama. I'm telling you, man, people die, and then you go, oh, fuck, I didn't say this and that. And I've been know, really bummed, dude, real bummed. But I'm just saying, yeah. well, so, so you got mad. But you, you got to remember, when you want something, trick to getting it is the nicer you are, the easier it is for the other person given to give it to you. So, I wasn't trying to force anybody into well, doing anything. No, but, I didn't want nothing given to me. Well, you I did not too, ask that. You went a little too far being mean, in my opinion, you bully boy. And, uh, Thank you. So I was just trying to ground you and make you look at it from all sides. There's, you know, because there is no right and wrong to this. This is just what we all think. It's all an illusion. See you next week, everybody, on In a Perfect World.